my name is uh, Zainab Walim Janja. I am a form four student. I had my primary education at a school called Changombe Primary School. And then after that I was chosen to come and join Sega in 2015. From there I had my, I, I had my continuously primary education at a school called Mkundi where I finished my standard seven. Then I joined Sega to continue f with my secondary education to today I'm in form four. Uh, back then when I'm, I'm at home for my holidays, the thing that I like doing is helping my mom doing things. For instance, I have my small project where I'm making the liquid soaps and sell through my street. The skills I got from my school when I was in Form 3, I got the entrepreneurship skills where I, we were making different things like soaps, African shirts, and also we are learning poetry on how to take care of the chickens. So I took the knowledge and when I'm back for my holidays, I shared with my parents, I also shared with my brothers. For instance, as they have not received the, the education that ended with the all level education, so I shared with them, and when I'm back for my holidays, I normally share with them, we help each other selling the soaps. The thing that I have that are unique to me that you cannot compare with anybody else are the skills I have. For instance, the mentoring skills. I have ability to lead a person and know the problem that she has and be able to help. For instance, when I was in Form 3, we learned a mentoring program, and one day I found one of my mentees crying. I asked her the reason made her cry, and it was because she was failing her mathematics ex exams. I had to tell her the best ways to solve the solution, and good enough she understood me to today she's doing good in mathematics. The skills that I have that are unique to me are the leadership skills. I was a leader from when I was in Form 3 to, 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 to date. I'm a leader. Also the mental skills I have and the entrepreneurship skills I have. When I go back for my holidays, I usually do the entrepreneurship programs and get money which helps me together with my parents. Also, when Unite chose me to be one among the scholars, I will help other school I will help other mentees. I will give them the skill that I have. I will share with them so that they can be able to get what I have. One among the biggest challenges that I faced from when I was schooling is financial problem. My parents are just small-scale business parents that they do not have ability to help all of us. As my siblings have not continued with their A-level education because of financial assistance problem. Also other challenge is discouraged from others. Some people use it to discourage me like why should you do so? Why should you sell this? You are a girl should not do this. So that is among the challenge. Also the other challenge is peer pleasure. When I go back from my holidays and sell the things along the street, I usually face the challenges like in being approached with other boys but I manage to overcome because I have the life skills which I learned from my school. Mimi naitu Amina Abdala Kamaka. Ni familia, na familia angu wa watoto wane. Watoto angu wanapenda sana kusoma. Lakini na shindo kusomesha kwa sababu. Mimi na baba yao hatuna uwezo. Baba yao ana kushika dayi waka magari. Ana kushika dayi waka. Mimi mwenye na uza mka. Na pika vitumbu wa nafanya ya nini. Na wapenda sana wapacha wangu hawa wawili. Na wapenda kuliku maelezo. Isipokuwa na shindo kuendeleza kwa sababu ya kutokuwa na uwezo. Watoto wangu wanapenda sana kusoma. Wanapenda kujishulisha. Wanangu yani wana kila kitu. Hawana makundi. Hawana magenge. Kutu watu na sedizana. Hata nivu kwa nekipika mandazi. Watoto wangu wanashika mandazi wanaenda kutembeza. Nasikia uchungu wa sitiana wangu kutembeza mandazi. Lakini kwa sababu... Sina uwezo, inabidi wafanya vitu kama hivyo. Nazungumza kwa uchungu. Na shukuru kwa hili shidika nivyo kuja kwa saidi ya ututu wangu. Manake mbaka saidi ya like, kaini, singe jua ututu wangu na waweka wapi. Au na waweka katika mazingira gani. Kwa maisha niluku wa nae mimo nyo nyumbani. Nilipo, tulikuwa tunalala chini na wanangu. Sengide tunalala na njana wa ututu wangu. Kwa hapo walipofikia, napenda sana. 
Yaani napenda sana. Na nashukuru kwa jinsi wanavyojitahidi wakiangalia hali ilivyo ya nyumbani. Ninapovaa navaa kwa kuangaika na wenyewe wanajua. Nikiwa na madeni, sengine mpaka naamua kuruka ukuta kwa kukibia watu walotusaidia kutoka kwa alotusaidia kutupa msaada. Wasinikute. Na hata nikiwa ndani wanangu walikuwa wanakidhi kunifungia mimi ndani mtu akija kunidai wasemi mama hayuko baba wakati huko ameenda kuangaika na acha hivi nauli ya kuja huko baba yao ameshindwa kuja kutoka tuje wote na baba yao kashindwa kuja huko kwa sababu nitulikosa hata ile nauli ya kuja huko ikabidi mimi nijibane bane na kuja huko maisha yangu yalivyo lakini familia yangu naipenda na pia naona wanapenda wanaweza kunisaidia sana napenda pacha wangu na wapenda sana